The biography, Call Me Brother, is the story of Edric Baker, a New Zealand doctor who devoted his life to healthcare for the poor. Dr. Edric Baker is one of the most amazing New Zealanders ever, and he's super famous in Bangladesh. In New Zealand, hardly anyone knows who he is. He is a sort of a mother to us, really. He's New Zealand's mother to us. He's just amazing um, what he's achieved, and it's come down to his dogged determination. He was a Kiwi guy who, over 35 years in Bangladesh, pioneered a model of healthcare for the poor to the point where he had a team of 90 local people serving 28,000 uh, patients per year. He made health access for poor people very easy, and his team was for the poor and by the poor. He trained local people to become skilled health workers, and he treated conditions for a fraction of the cost of other large institutions. What really amazed me about this particular project of Edric's was how little it survived on, how little money, how little supplies, how little skills, um, you know, qualified skills, versus the number of patients that it actually dealt with. It was just phenomenal, that, that arithmetic. And he was treating diabetes in a remote rural area when almost no one else was doing that. He invented a process how to treat the diabetes uh, easy way, not, uh, not by getting um, high medicine or treatment process, something not like that. I wanted to know, could his project be replicated? What were the lessons from his model that could be applied to others? That was the reason for the book. I was also fascinated by Edric as a person, someone with a deep Christian faith, who lived the simple lifestyle of those around him, and someone who really did lay down his entire life for this ideal of healthcare for everyone. Where did that drive come from? And how did he sustain himself for so many years, despite his failures and flaws? It's quite an exciting read because, you know, there are parts of it where it's quite swashbuckling, especially um, the Vietnam uh, years. He was taken captive and then he sort of transitions from that young man um, with a purpose into, um, you know, Kawakuri and what he's built there. Um, stubborn as a mule all the way through, doggedly determined, but a man with a vision. It's, it's a great read.